Mr. Grul, uh, welcome back to, to Klagenfurt. Uh, you know the city, you got to know the city when you played here in the early 90s. It was the 93-94 season. Uh, that's uh, quite some, some time ago. What are your memories on, on the city and, and the Karte from back then? Well, Klagenfurt was great. Um, I had an opportunity to play here after playing in Graz for four or five years. Um, you know, my, the, my time on the ice, I wish it would have been better. I, I, uh, coming from Graz, I was scoring goals and, you know, doing what I needed to do uh, as, a, as a Canadian in the league. And uh, I come to Klagenfurt and things were a little difficult. Um, but I do remember, boy, I'm not sure what game it was, uh, but I scored my first goal. And, um, you know, I hit so many posts and the goalie in the, in the head and the goalie in the back of the head. And I do remember, I think after my first goal, I threw my stick in the crowd. Uh, one of the fans uh, caught it. It didn't come down. So that was good. I wanted to get rid of that stick anyway, and I changed sticks, and, you know. But uh, Klagenford was unbelievable. My wife and I were here, and we loved it. Um, you mentioned it already. You've been an iconic goal scorer for Lusten now and Graz, putting up uh, tremendous numbers. I think it was 204 goals in 213 games before you came here. But it didn't work out quite the, well here. Um, why, why was that? I don't know. I, you know, uh, hockey's a, it's a funny game and, you know, uh, momentum is a big thing. And I think with the changeover from, from Graz and, and how I left there, um, you know, uh, maybe it played a little bit in my, my head or in my mind and, and maybe I wasn't as comfortable as I was, uh, you know, spending the th three, four, five years in, in Graz, but Klagenford, you know, always had a top team. Um, we would always talk, the Canadians would talk around uh, the league at that time that, the, and, I, and I even mentioned uh, Oliver Poloni um, a few weeks ago, talking from home. I told Oliver, I said, you know, the, the Klagenford uh, uh, Ice Hockey Club is like the Montreal Canadians back home. And that's how it's recognized. And, you know, it was a big thing. It was a big thing for me um, to join Klagenford at the time uh, in 90, 1994. And, you know, I wish it would have went better. It was a nice, uh, we had a nice team here. I wish we could have won, but uh, things just didn't work out uh, at that time. You mentioned the stick story already. I looked up the, the history books. It was game number 11. Game uh, you played for this club and it was against Graz at home. Um, now your son, Dalen, joined uh, the Cards. Um, tell us first uh, what kind of player he is. Dalen, um, Dalen is a is a great team player. Um, he, he will fit in great in the dressing room with the players. Um, he's a hard nosed player. He uh, uh, he's, he's different than me. Um, when I played, I was pretty much just finesse. I was uh, you know get the puck, shoot, score type thing, or have a good chance. Dalen, he's going to create some some chances for his wingers or, or his centermen. Um, he's not afraid. He's he's twenty years old, but uh, he has a big frame and. Um, he's a tough kid, so he'll get in there and he's gonna he's gonna make sure he finds his way to the to the net. Um, he's gonna work in the corners for the coach and for his teammates. And you know, for a 20 year old, he's got a good shot. He uh, he could shoot the puck. And uh, you know, I'm hoping for good things for him. Um, this is a great opportunity here in Klagenford uh, for Dalen. And uh, you know, I, I I hope that uh, the people are a little patient because he's young. Um, he's got to learn how to play on the big ice. The the ice is a smaller at home and. But uh, I'm sure he's going to have some success. He um, he's going to work his tail off as hard as he can every shift and every game for the the coach and, the, and his teammates. And and I then I've I've told him from day one, you work hard and good things will happen. And and I'm sure he's going to have some success. You already mentioned uh, the change, uh, the challenge from from the small ice to the big one. There's another challenge with. Uh, uh, playing uh, now, now senior hockey, not yeah. junior hockey anymore. Well, what tips and recommendations did you give to Dalen? Yeah, I, you know, he, he's got to do all the, 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 the little things correct. He, he has to make sure the puck is moving. He has to make sure his feet are moving. Um, the puck is going ahead, you know, go forward with the puck. Uh, and obviously you listen to the coach's system. So he, so he has to learn that uh, quick right away. There's you know, it's it's a little bit unfortunate he's right into the season now, you know, into the league games. But uh, he, he's a quick learner. He's, he's a good kid. And, and again, uh, the big ice, you know, I, I told him, just move your feet. Keep your feet moving. There's lots of ice. Um, there's not, you know, you don't have to do so many stops and starts. Uh, ten feet here, ten feet there. You could do, uh, you know, a lot of swinging with, the, uh, with your centermen or other wingers. And um, just keep your head up. 
uh, you know, these men are going to, the, you're playing against some 30 year olds or 35 year olds. So they've been around, um, they're going to be looking for guys with their head down. And I said, you keep your head up and you play tough and you make sure that, uh, nobody pushes you around or pushes a teammate around. And, and he's done that. He's he, as a 17 year old, he was fighting 20 year olds back home to stick up for his teammates. So that's a good trait to have. And, and that's why I think, you know, he'll fit in good uh, with the team here in, in uh, Klagenfurt. Um, last couple of years, uh, Dalen played uh, in the Ontario League, where, where also you in your junior days put up some tremendous numbers, uh, amazing numbers. Um, last year, he, he represented, uh, by the end of the year, he represented the uh, team from Ottawa, the 67s. Um, he played together with an Austrian guy there, with uh, Marco Rossi. I'm pretty sure you watch a lot of Dalen's games. Um, Let's talk about Marco Rossi for a moment. What yeah. do you think of him? He got drafted this week. Yeah, great, uh, great, great young hockey player. Um, Dalen and Marco become very good friends. They FaceTime uh, on their phones every day. They talk every day uh, through the whole summer, through the whole pandemic. Uh, Marco was showing videos that he was doing and running the mountains, and you know, and, and uh, it was funny. Dalen would show my wife and I, and I and I said, oh, "Good, get used to those mountains. You're going to be running them too." But uh, they got to be good friends. Um, um, at the end of the season there, before the pandemic started, uh, Dalen was playing on Marco's right wing. And uh, they, they had some really good, good chemistry. Uh, Marco's a great hockey player. Boy, uh, Austria should be very proud. Uh, drafted by Minnesota in the NHL. And uh, it's a big step for him. And, but I'll tell you, he has a bright future. He's, he's such a hard worker. Um, I got to meet uh, Marco in Ottawa at one of the games, and I, I, we talked after that. And his mom and dad were there at the time, and uh, it was nice. We went out for a meal after a couple of the games, and uh, yeah, it was nice to spend time with them. Very good people. Um, Dale is going to play his second game uh, for uh, Kaiate's uh, Alps hockey team uh, tonight. First game was against uh, basically a, a more weak competition, a very young team. Today it's something different. It's a championship-winning team from Ljubljana coming coming in. A lot of uh, senior players, what you mentioned already. Uh, what do you think how, how uh, Dalen will adopt to this uh, new challenge of playing like really settled pro players? Yeah, I, again, I think he'll be okay. You know, again, he has lots to learn. Um, he, you know, he's just, again, keep his head up. And uh, I, I told him, you know, when you have an opportunity to shoot the puck, You know, it's it's not junior anymore. In, in the pro game, uh, it doesn't matter with the big team or second in the Alp, Alp League. Uh, um, when you get an opportunity, you have to bury your chances. You have to score, um, you know, the, on the majority of your chances. So you could play a whole game and get one or two chances and your your team's counting on you to bury the puck, right? So, yeah, just to, uh, you know, keep again, keep your, your feet moving, um, work hard and always be positive it doesn't matter you're you're winning by three or you're losing by three it's you go out and play in the same attitude and you work hard and you be positive and you're positive for your teammates and for your coaches Dylan has signed for two years now here um uh, he aims to make his way uh, from the alps team up to the first team in the next uh, couple of uh, months um what do you think how his development here in our organization will look like yeah it, i think it's going to be good um you know i i've been around for a week now and um i'm at the rink i watch the practices uh and um you know it, again he's here to play hockey so his concentration pretty much is you know when am i getting to the rink every day um how long am i staying here to work to practice or to work out in the gym and get myself ready And then uh, it's, it's to head home or have a nice meal and, and head home and get your rest, get rest for the next day or for tomorrow. And um, he has to be consistent. He has to work hard. Um, but I think he could do it. You know, like, I, again, he's young, but um, he has the ambition. He wants it. He wants to play. Uh, it was a big choice to come, you know, all the way. You're, you're in, in uh, Niagara Falls, Canada. And as a 20-year-old, all your friends are still right now, They're not even playing in the OHL. So they're all together and they're working out and they're doing things. And, and, and uh, he was gung-ho. I mean, for for a month, it was, Dad, when are we going? Dad, when are we going? Let's go. I want to go. I got to get there. I got to be with the teammates. I got to be training. You know, so he, he wants it. He wants to be here. And, and that's the big thing. I'm, uh, for sure, it wasn't me pushing him. It was, you know, Dad, uh, um, I can't wait to get my citizenship. Um, I hope everything goes well. I can't wait to get my passport. I want to be a, an Austrian Canadian and I want to play hockey in Austria and I want to play pro hockey. So it, it's a good thing, you know, and, and, and uh, it makes me happy.
Wonderful. Thank you very much for your time. Um, we we'll hope to see you back at the rink uh, pretty soon. Thank for you. Sure. Thank you.